Hi guys, welcome back. My name is April and today I'm going to show you how to make this three tier tray. Here it is. I love it and you could get this chess game from the Dollar Tree. You could use the pawn pieces from the chess game and just glue them on the bottom and I hope that you enjoy my video. I'm just having a, a lot of fun doing this. Don't be afraid to leave a comment and say hi. I would love to say hi to you and I hope you all have a great day. I'm using Rust-Oleum Chalked Ultra Matte in Linen White. You can also use spray paint. It's a lot easier. You will need a paintbrush. You'll need two packs of these burner covers. They come with one big one and one smaller one. You'll use two of the bigger ones and one small one. You'll need two of these glass candlestick holders. You'll see I accidentally bought three. I can't do math apparently. I used a hot glue gun just because it's fast and easy, um, but it's not very strong, so you can use whatever kind of glue you like. These gloves are just for my hands so that I don't get paint all over them. This is black acrylic paint that I used to mix with the white to make gray, and you'll see what I do with that at the end. This blessed placemat I actually got at the dollar store just to set my things on so I could let them dry. The paint actually goes on really good. I used two coats and let them dry in between and they dry really fast. I forgot to put gloves on. The bad thing about using paint is that the paintbrush really makes it show the brush strokes. So you kind of have to go all in the same direction on the last coat to make it look nice. You could also get some really fine grit sandpaper and lightly go over it when it's dry. Here I'm mixing that black paint with the white to make gray and we will use that in just a minute. Now I'm hot gluing everything together. Um, I didn't measure it, but you probably should if you want it to look really nice. I just eyeballed it and it turned out fine. And that's it. It's so easy. And you don't need the third candlestick holder. So I'm just gently tapping the paintbrush around the edges. And then here I'm just tapping the paintbrush along the um, edges that stick out kind of where it would naturally distress and I really like the way that it turned out. These are all dollar store items um, except for 
the one frosty green leaf in the back and the two little houses on top. Um, my son made me those with his 3D printer and then I just painted them. The little eggs I got in a pack at the dollar store and I just pulled the little ribbon off. And lastly, here's with one tier. And that's it, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Thank you.